Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the history of esports and it's going to be a lot of fun going all the way back to the beginning. It all just started as a hobby. Video games were experimental time wasters meant to entertain the masses. But as with many other hobbies, gaming turned serious. Competitive gaming has come a long way in recent years, and it's only getting bigger. As with everything else, esports has humble beginnings where prize pools were far from the hundreds of thousands of dollars that have become the norm. Almost 45 years ago, on October 19, 1972, Stanford students took part in a space war tournament on campus, thus becoming one of the first recorded competitive gaming activities ever. The prize? A year subscription to Rolling Stone magazine. Just eight years later, the legendary game studio Atari held an official Space Invaders championship that would prove to be the birth of gaming as a competitive hobby. The tournament attracted more than 10,000 participants in what is considered the first large-scale video game competition. It didn't take long before high scores in arcade games would be considered actual records, worthy of praise and respect, and arcade halls attracted millions of video game enthusiasts as a result. Donkey Kong, Mrs. Pac-Man, Centipede, and many other games were played on a competitive basis, but it wasn't until the home computer came along, and later, the revolutionary internet, that we would see the birth of modern esports. Gaming quickly became more than just gaming. No more standing around inside the crowded arcade halls waiting to push harder and quarters through the slots. Now you could play the latest and best games at home, and even against other people. Popular games such as Doom, Wolfenstein, Quake, and Half-Life were the pioneers of the first-person shooter genre, laying the foundation of the modern shooters and even giving birth to Counter-Strike, which started off as a Half-Life modification. Another popular game, Defense of the Ancients, also known as Dota, started as a Warcraft modification, and along with StarCraft, these games cemented their position as premier competitive real-time strategy games, becoming the darlings of the South Korean scene. South Korea is often mentioned as a forerunner when it comes to online gaming, as the country has had a passion for esports since the turn of the millennium, idolizing StarCraft players in true rock star fashion. It took a while before other regions such as North America and Europe caught on to the esports fad, but it's come a long way since, going from events in auditoriums to sold out arenas across the globe. Esports has seen tremendous growth in spectatorship and prize pools, and it's often hard to believe just how big the scene has become. Millions of concurrent viewers have watched their favorite games streamed online during every tournament. In CSGO, the recent major in Katowice reached a peak of 1.19 million concurrent viewers and a grand prize of $500,000. Looking at Dota 2's largest annual tournament, the International, we've seen it grow to extreme heights as the prize pool has gone from an impressive $2.87 million in 2013 to the astronomical $25.5 million awarded in 2018. Competitive gaming is booming like never before, and even though we're well past the birth of esports, this is just the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the history of esports. It's a lot of fun, but make sure you come down and subscribe to the channel so you can see all of our other content that's coming out.